Okay, today I want to do a video basically on um, the last video, basically. I have a couple videos to do on this uh, aspect of colorism, basically. So, um, I wanted to point out that for light brown skinned women, uh, there's a difference. There really is a difference in phenotype. A big difference, you know. Someone who is, you know, light brown skin, the people I mentioned before, do not look like Indians and Asians or light brown skin. I wanted to show some photos of people who are light brown too. And they're of, you know, of other races as well. I wanted to show you some people from mixed race and they're light brown skin too. They don't look like those light brown skinned black girls. Because when they're mixed, they use a lot of people who are of Asian descent. The reason I use Asian descent is to show you how these people can look very Asian. Even though they're light brown skin. It shows you that when you are a light brown complexion, it has nothing to do with what your uh, skin tone is, more so what your race is and your genotype is. That defines you and how people see you. Sometimes your race does not always connect with how you actually look, that happens sometimes, you know, and sometimes that can happen through the way of, uh, say for example, a lot of black Americans, I was talking to a black American about this, um, you can have in your genome a chromosome that is basically racially ambiguous or racially mixed. If you could have one that's 30% black, but you could be mostly black, like 70% black. You might look like you are 30% black, and therefore you look very ambiguous. And then you can also have situations where, you know, they're mixed race people, and they might be 30% black, but they look more like they're 50, 60% black because of how their chromosomes work. You know, if they are the descendant if they are half black American, they have a difference in chromosomes because of that. Some chromosomes can be 100% black, some can be 50, 40% black, you know. Some can be 30% black, and so forth. So my point is, you know, you could look different from what you actually are in your total genome. Because your genome controls more than just your little phenotype. Your phenotype is a small portion of your genome. Your genome controls, you know, your height, bone structure, blood type, organs, you know, things like that, obviously. Your, the way your kidneys function has nothing to do with whether they're black or or white, you get what I'm saying? Where it comes from, <laughs> that's got nothing to do with anything. So if you, the way your kidneys function, for example, if it came from an African ancestor, you're not going to have kidneys that look like black people's kidneys because black people's kidneys look like white people's kidneys, get me? So that's why I'm saying, if your whole genome says that you are a majority black, for example, but you look ambiguous, it could have to do with the fact that your phenotype is more controlled by the genes that are mixed rather than the genes that are not mixed, or more focused on your African look, you know. And it goes vice versa, like I said, with mixed people who are mostly white, but they look black. Um, point is, what I'm trying to show here, though, is you know, 
let's put aside the genetics. The genetics are cool and they're fun. But if we're talking about how you're treated, how you're treated is what your phenotype is. Now, how it got there is just a story. And, you know, it's a story that changes from person to person. Some people have it where they are first generation or mixed. Some people are multi-generationally. It's so many different things that could be happening. Phenotype, though, for light brown skinned people has only to do with our face and their hair texture to some extent. You could say hair texture. Some people oh so much into the hair texture. But it's kind of silly to me because, okay, if you have Crystal Swirl's face, but your hair is 1A, or you have Bossy's face and your hair is 1A, bone straight. You mean to tell me someone's going to think that person is not black? No, they're just going to think that person is a black person with straight hair. So, I mean, that is not, you know, the end. I don't think that's a telltale sign to black people. What's more of a telltale sign is the face. The face tells everything. Everything else, like the skin tone overlaps with other races, the hair texture, you know, that can change because people change their hair type. And people always try and put hate onto black women for straightening their hair, which is stupid because to me it's like, but you are attacking black women for straightening their hair, for adding to their hair, for cutting their hair, for whatever you're blaming them for. It's like everybody does these things. People straighten their hair, people cut their hair, people grow their hair out, people dye their hair. You know, it shouldn't be that you're freaked out that someone straightened their hair, now you can't tell what ethnicity they are. It's most likely not because of the hair, it's most likely because of their face. The face, like I, you can see on the photos I'm showing, these people, you know, they have the same skin tone, and the hair is inconsequential. Most of it is straightened or changed in one way or another. So it shows you that these people who are of the same complexion and the same type of hair, but really doesn't really matter because it's altered, you know, are still not seen racially the same because one has a black person's face and the other one has Asian person's face, a Middle Eastern person's face, an Indian person's face, you know. I'm just showing this to show skin tone for a light brown skin person is not what really makes them or makes them any race because basically every race has light brown skin. But not every race has a broad, wide nose, and full lips, and high cheekbones, and brown, soft, beautiful eyes, okay? So that is specific to the black race, you know. And I think those are ideal features. And I do not think that this is a bad um, thing about black people. So don't come to me saying that I'm trying to attack black women here. I am not. I'm trying to point out the differences between black women who are light brown skin and black women, I mean, and mixed women, sorry, <laughs> and even black women in some cases look, like I said, phenotypically different, and even, you know, Asian women and Indian women and Middle Eastern women who have the same complexion. So you can't say that it's about color. This is another reason why colorism never existed because colorism existed the dark-skinned Indian and I have a photo of a dark-skinned Indian so you guys can see a dark-skinned Indian would be treated better than a truly light-skinned person insert each camp out so it, you'll see that it's not about color no in society the way the racial hierarchy works is judged by white people White people judged it off of basically nearness to black people, African people. So an Indian is very far from an African person, therefore they will be higher than a black person of any shape because they 
black person of any shade is a black person. So they are the black person, okay? They're all black. You know, when we talk about colorism and a white person is round, what do they start saying? They're all black because that's what they think. They don't even think that anyone's light skin because if you ask them what light skin is, they will say, I'm light skin because a white person is light skin. On the whole scale of all colors, who is light skin? White people. Like, if you don't realize that, you don't have any eyes, okay? So, I mean, like, these are obvious things, you know. I mean to make this video quick. But I just wanted to show that obviously um, this is another example of why colorism doesn't exist. Because you people that are black looking would get racism for being black. These people who look Asian, Indian, you know, Arab, they won't get attacked for being black because they're not black. They're just light brown skinned individuals. It's not the skin tone at this point. It's the face. It's the features. And, you know, if you wore your natural hair, of course, like, if it's in its natural state, it's really, really curly. You know, of course, you're going to get that, too. But mostly, it's just your face. Because the hair always changes. That's the thing with these people that I'm posting. If you snatch their face over and over and over again, if you try to put contour on their face five times, okay, they would still look like a black person. Because the way their structure is, you can't change that. It's set in stone. It's strong. A strong ethnic African feature. That's just the truth. And so, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show a couple of black people who are, you know, light brown skinned and they have a phenotype like other, you know, people of African descent and how they would be treated as opposed to someone who actually doesn't look like a black person, just has light brown skin. There's a difference in this. With brown-skinned people, you start to see the difference, especially those of a light brown hue. Thanks for watching, and bye.